so let's see eigen values of lz is a uh, angular momentum in z direction operator so what are the eigen values of this what could be the eigen values of this lz operator so let's see be the eigen value of lz so let us assume uh, for a while see be the eigen value of lz then its eigen value equation is so if c is the eigen value of lz then its eigen value can be written as lz cap psi is equal to c psi so what is the meaning of this is means l if lz operator is acting on a wave function psi so in quantum mechanics to describe any state of the particle or object or atom we use wave function so l if lz uh, operator is acting on the wave function psi then the result would be a would be the same wave function multiplied by with its eigen value so that is nothing but eigen value equation for a given operator so if an operator operates on a wave function and the result uh, is the same wave function but multiplied by its some eigen value so this is the eigen value equation where xi is the eigen function so wave function or eigen function eigen vector like that so now as we know that lz is nothing but minus ih cut dou by dou phi so so in terms of spherical polar coordinate system we have lx formula for lx so this is the formula for lx and this is the formula for ly in terms of spherical coordinate system and finally this is the formula for lz that is nothing but minus ih cut dou by dou phi so this is the formula for lz minus ih cut dou by dou phi so here in the if we multiply and divide with i multiplying and dividing with i what we would get is i into i by i into i by i that is nothing but i is i into i is nothing but i square i square is nothing but minus one so minus into minus plus divided by i so what we would have is h cut by i dou by dou phi so here h cut by i dou by dou phi in the place of lz we are having this so h cut by i dou xi by dou phi is equal to c xi so this is the term and the solution of equation 2 is so if we solve this equation that means we have to take all the xi term one side and the phi terms one side so if we take like that we would have this so here what we are having is dou xi here xi so sending this xi over here so it would become dou xi by xi and sending this constants to this side so we are already having c so i c by h cut i c by h cut dou phi again integrating on both sides what we will get is integration on both sides so integration of 1 by xi dou xi that it is of the form 1 by x dx that is one by ln xi so after and limits has to be applied and here uh, integration of dou phi is nothing but phi so upper limit minus lower limit that is phi minus 0 so if initially phi is 0 we would have this so here we would have ln xi hat sum of hat some particular value of phi and minus so what we would have is ln xi not some particular value of phi minus ln xi not some part at a value phi equals to zero so i c by h cut into phi so here ln of a minus ln b that is something about ln of a by b we would have ln of xi phi by xi naught so again sending e to ln to that side we would have e power i c phi by h cut so e power i c phi by h cut and xi naught to that side what we would have is xi phi is equal to xi naught into e power i c phi by h cut that is it is of the form that is xi naught is the value of the wave function when phi is zero so that is uh, that means if the wave function is not depending on the value of phi so that is nothing but f of r comma theta so xi naught can be considered as 
it's a wave function depending only on r comma theta so as a actually in spherical co polar coordinates you would have three variables r theta phi so if phi is zero uh, so uh, if we don't consider phi value of phi to be zero so then must be depending on r and theta so like that so after these calculations we would have finally this formula so xi can be written as function of r comma theta but not a function of phi e power ic phi by h cut so this is the form so if we have this kind of form then only this is the perfect form so here it should not be a function of phi over here so constant multiplied with this function of phi so this is the best representation of wave function so this is the wave function for the lz operator as well this uh, can be considered as the wave function of this lz operator so this is the best wave function best possible f of r comma theta e power ic phi by h cut after calculations so where f of r comma theta is an arbitrary function of r comma theta so it is uh, just a function of r comma theta some arbitrary value so now xi must be a single valued function of x comma y comma z so xi has to be a single valued function of x comma y comma z in this case increase in the angle xi by 2 pi should not change the wave function so that so xi must be a single valued function so there are certain conditions so xi must be continuous xi must be single valued like that uh, there are certain values so in order to be a and xi must be finite single value like that so that because uh, it, it's especially dependent on the probability so xi into xi star in integration data if you do you would get probability based on probability a wave function must have certain characteristics so one of the important characteristics is it must be a single valued so for a particular value must have a single valued it must be a single valued wave function so in this case increase in the angle phi so actually it is phi it is in the angle phi by 2 pi should not change the wave function so that so if we increase the value of phi angle phi is nothing but angle here so it's very good polar coordinates or is distance theta is also an angle and phi is also an angle theta ranges from 0 to to uh, 0 to pi and uh, phi ranges from 0 to 2 pi like that so it is uh, based on uh, three dimensional spherical coordinates if we consider so increase in this case increase in angle phi by should not change the wave function so wave function should not be changed so actually what is the wave function this is the wave function at some particular angle phi so f of r comma theta e power ic phi by h cut so if we increase this angle by 2 pi that is phi plus 2 phi then also the wave function should, then also the wave function should be the same that is phi plus 2 phi that is f of r comma theta exponential of ic phi plus 2 pi divided by h cut so increasing phi by 2 pi so ic into phi plus 2 pi by h cut so both of them should be the same it is it is of the periodic form so if we even if we increase the angle by 2 phi the wave function should not change so this is the initial wave function so after increasing the wave angle phi by 2 pi so this is the again wave function final wave function so they both of them should be the same and next here if you see f of r comma theta f of r comma theta would get cancelled here um, e power ic phi plus 2 pi by h cut it is of the form e power m into uh, e power m plus n that could be written as e power m into e power n so here you in the place of e power m you would have e power ic phi by h cut here also e power ic phi by h cut so both of them would get cancelled so what would be remaining is e power n that is e power ic 2 pi by h cut and this is equals to 1 so next and we know that e power 0 anything power 0 is 1 and e power i 2 pi is also 1 why means e power i theta is nothing but cos theta plus i sin theta so if we substitute cos 2 pi is nothing that is cos 0 is 1 cos 2 pi is also 1 and sin 2 pi is 0 so 1 plus i 
0 that is nothing but 1 not only if we consider odd values that is cos pi cos pi is minus 1 and sin pi is 0 so you would have minus 1 so only for even values that is 2 pi 4 pi 6 pi 8 pi you would have 1 hence here we have 2m pi that is if uh, m values is 1 you you would have 2 pi 2 into 1 into pi and m value is 2 2 into 2 into pi 4 pi you would have like that so that is all for uh, even values so 2m is nothing but even so now 2 2 would get cancelled pi would get cancelled and uh, c is nothing but m h cut so after solvation so c is nothing but m h cut where m is an integer so thus eigenvalues of lz or m h cut so thus here m is nothing but an integer 1 2 3 like that or 0 1 2 3 because cos 0 is also a 1 so m values ranges from 0 1 2 3 like that so 0 means 0 pi that is 0 and 1 means 2 pi and 2 means 4 pi 6 pi like that we would be having c is goes to mh cut where m is an integer thus eigenvalues of lz or mh cut thus finally we have found the eigenvalue of lz and that is nothing but mh cut so eigen function is nothing but so what we are having we are having f of r comma theta so f of r comma theta would remain the same in the place of c if we substitute mh cut h cut h cut would get cancelled i m phi e power i m phi so eigen function would be of the form eigen function is z is equals to e power i m phi f of r comma theta for the operator lz so thank you